Okay. Well, it's week 13, we think. Maybe 12, maybe 13. We'll figure it out maybe later. Maybe 14. I don't know. Time is weird. We've just started on our 13 mile run. We're 0.3 miles in. Feeling strong. <laughs> <laughs> A couple hours to go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the thing is, we're training for the Walt Disney World Marathon. Got a lot to talk about. We're running around our neighborhood. But, turns out, this is garage sale weekend. We might, we might get some character stops. <laughs> Anyway, hey, thanks a lot for joining. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Hit that notification button. Thanks to all of you who have. Thanks for joining us. We got a lot more today. See you in a bit. So we decided on this 13 miler to maybe have a little fun. And I'm going to give a shout out to our UK friends for inspiration. For those of you who may be Disney fans or have been to Disney World, talking to you UK friends and you Canadian friends, <laughs> we're gonna go around and ask you, what does this remind you of? We did a little bit of that last time. We're gonna do some more this time. And then we'll have, uh, I guess, sort of answers on the recap later. Anyway, you know, look at some stuff. Tell us, what Disney thing We're on a sidewalk. does this remind you of? That, nothing, because there's sidewalks everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you're right. All right. All right, so that's one freebie right there. Okay, how about this? Here comes another one. Oh. If you if you watched our video from last time, it's a give, it's a gimme. Here comes another one. Get your uh, thinking caps on. Here we go. Surprise character stop. Briskets. Hey, buddy. What does this remind you of? Oh, it's actually on. Oh, even better. I was gonna run by and turn around. Oh man, that was cute. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Reminds us of something. What about you? Here we go. So we've been talking about our costumes for the marathon. We're gonna tell you about them 
during the recap after this run. But what we can say though is the only things not being handmade are the shoes, the hat wear, Hats. tights, tights, Car. rash guard. Oh yeah, underwear. Underpinnings. <laughs> Floor. Conversely, the only things being made are our shirts. They're gonna be awesome. We're coming up on our first official water stop. <laughs> our house. <laughs> Okay. Five miles in. Two laps to go. Eight point seven miles in. Second lap. One to go. Oh, God. Hey, 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 thanks for sticking around. Today's recap starts now. 13 miles, the longest we've run, and we realized a really long time. And not only the longest run, because we've done a, a couple of virtual, you know, half marathons over the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's the longest we've run without taking a walk break, right? Mm -hmm. uh, since probably the marathon, and we made it to uh, nine miles before it got too hot, uh, and we had to take a take a little break. Um, yeah, it was a good run. Week twelve for the first two thirds bit. It was a really yeah. good run. Yeah, so we started really early. Mm -hmm. um, walk the dog before the sun came up. Right. Coach insists on a warm-up walk, so yeah, a uh, mile and a half. You know, it was in the dark. It was nice. Mm -hmm. uh, temperature wasn't bad. It was about seventy-three. Humidity was kind of bad. Was it seventy-three by the time? Yeah, it was it seventy was, when we got up. Yeah, yeah. and the, the, the cool weather that we were going on and on about last week is gone. Yeah, it's gone. Humidity was about eighty-six percent. Okay. But we got out. You know, it's week twelve of marathon training. Did we verify that? Yes, we did. Okay, uh, and. We needed to do 13 miles. Now the whole week, uh, mentally, I was kind of like, oh man, uh, we weren't able to do 11. Can I, am I gonna be able to do 13? But we did it. We did. Um, feel really good about it. Um, during the run, we had some questions for you. So, you know, it, it was really nice to do something other than focus on my breathing my heart pain and suffering and pain and suffering that our bodies are experiencing so and how far we have to go yeah yeah so uh there were some things around here that we you know kind of jokingly referred to and as you know reminders and, stuff. and also like if it's not clear we're kind of like aching to go back so yeah, yeah we are i'm just trying to we are so do yeah. our best yeah, yeah you know and and they're a stretch but if you played along, get your answers ready. So here we go. The first thing we saw were these things. And to us, uh, to us, kind I mean, of, they're a stretch. Yeah, this this is a stretch. This <laughs> stretch. But to us, or to me, reminds me of all the scrim that goes up whenever they're doing refurbishments at the park. I went with Tron. Because it's been under construction for like ages. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was your answer? Let us know. Number two, number two, we mentioned this before, but this looks like sort of Wilderness Lodge or Fort Wilderness. Fort Wilderness. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of nice. And then this one we mentioned before. But we'll take either kind of looks like the castle or Rapunzel. 
again, stretch. Yeah. Yeah. But we made it to another area that we rarely get to because you know why we rarely. I'm yeah. sorry. What, but where what? are you going now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up a stupid hill. <laughs> a really, really worse than I remembered it. Yeah. yeah. Hill. Yeah. So you probably won't see that again in yeah. all of our footage. Yeah, I think the name of the street is Sucks Hill. That's, that's awful. So, so we did that on our first lap. Yeah. And then on our other two loops, loops yeah, we, around the neighborhood, we skipped, we skipped, we skipped that. that part. But we did it for, we did it for this. It reminds us <laughs> of... Blizzard Beach. Blizzard Beach. <laughs> or we'll also take the backside of water. Oh. Uh, and, then, and then one more. The, the last one. The last one. All the way down Sucks Hill. Uh, there's a little uh, playground area. Here it is. And take a look at this. Dinosaur bones in the sand. So it kind of reminds us of... Obviously, Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Uh, but we'll also take whatever. Everybody wins. Yay, whatever, yeah, yay, tally up your yay. score. Everybody wins. Yay! It was not. It, I mean, it, it was it, it was fun. And, and again, mm. uh, shout out to our our friends in the UK. Their uh, their quiz really kind of uh, uh, gave us the idea of you know trying to do things while we're on a run. Because I mean, you're out there for a few hours. Uh, you know, it's nice to do uh, something a little different. So yeah. thank you for that. Um, also, <clears throat> we tried some new uh, hydration um, tablets uh, from Noon. We ordered some. Uh, you know, they're little uh, effervescent tablets. You drop them in the water. I don't know. It takes like 10 minutes to dissolve. <laughs> it takes a long time. I mean, it takes time. a long time. I suppose if you shake it, you know, it's a little faster. Mm. Uh, being a being an old school guy, it reminded me a lot of Alka Seltzer. So I was really hopeful they were going to work. They taste fine, you know. Yeah. They, they taste okay. They 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 don't taste as good as the drip drop that we bought. Uh, they don't taste as good as Propel. Uh, but their uh, ingredients are uh, you know up there with the kinds of things that you want when you hydrate. So uh, we tried Noon and for this run. And they're a lot more affordable than Drip Drop. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, Drip Drop is pretty expensive. Noon is affordable, and also the Drip Drop packaging comes in a bag and then individual packets. So the packaging we were is kind of like, a lot of stuff. Yeah, and the Noon, it's just tablets and a little tube, and you know we're Which looking forward to reusing. I'm sure I'll something. find something to use it. <laughs> yeah. For. Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, you can put like buttons and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway. They seem to, to work well. Uh, we're not puffy. Uh, you know, we don't have uh, uh, any kind of hydration issues in that regard, except... We had some other issues today. This, this is not my most dignified post-run <laughs> experience. Um, something didn't sit well with my stomach, and I ended up throwing up for a while after we finished our run. Yeah, after the run. Though. After. I didn't luckily do this out in the neighborhood because we mentioned it's garage sale day. So like a bajillion people would have seen me oh, uh, puking we, on the side of the road. We could have put a price on it. <sighs> Somebody would have bought it. Probably. <laughs> and they try to like, you know, nickel and dime us. <laughs> pay less for it. You know, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know if it was the noon. I'm, I'm, I initially blamed the noon because it's the main thing that changed this week. And that is not a usual thing for me to do after a run. I'm not so sure. We also, so because we were running around the neighborhood three laps, uh, we set up like a little water station on our porch, mm -hmm. um, which had a, you know, a little cooler and um, we have a like ice pack thing that works exceedingly well. And so we ended up with like some ice water and some, uh, some ice like power drink. And on our, so I also miscalculate and we were supposed to run the long way around the oh, block. Yeah. So anyway, I, I didn't miscalculate. I calculated our route perfectly to hit 13 miles. I forgot a turn when we were actually running that got us a little like behind. So on our last lap, we came back to the house and it's like, we still have a half a mile. So we, we, you know, headed out and came back in. Well, at that last stop, I downed, we were out of all the power drink. I downed a bunch of just that ice cold water. And I think it just like woke something up in my stomach yeah. and I didn't have an easy last half mile. And then yeah. it was not easy after that either. So, so 
uh, better to test new things yes. out during training. Don't ever try no. anything new before a race. This could be you on race day. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. We we also set up our uh, another camera by our water station, so you get to see some uh, footage of us, uh, you know, coming up to uh, take a water break. And also uh, a, a little shot of our favorite neighborhood cat, Mo. Oh yeah, she's a straight cat. Oh yeah, here she is, right here. We love her. And I think she loves us, but she won't let us anywhere near her. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, she's just a uh, she's, she's a she's, she's a stray. Um, she's yeah, she she has she's a survivor. I'm pretty sure she has eight lives left. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, and finally, uh, an update on our costumes. We talked a little mm -hmm. bit about what we're not making, and when I say we, I mean you. Uh, but. We have decided on the following for our costumes for Marathon Day. Mm -hmm. I am going to be Jack Skellington, and you're going to be? Sally. Um, so, still working on the details of David's costume, but what I'm going to do, I had a brainwave. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's um, like, trying to find fabric, it was just like, I don't know, it was, it was too, I don't know, I wasn't having a good time finding athletic fabric that didn't cost an arm and a leg um that i would have to buy in pretty small quantities because it's like patchwork right so i looked up at my mountain of uh race shirts that either were ill-fitting or ridiculously colored and i'm gonna i'm going to repurpose some old race shirts and turn them into a sally press that's pretty cool i hope so i think it'll work it's gonna be awesome yeah uh, so we have a lot of work to do in that regard, and uh, as they come together, we'll share with you. Uh, I, I'm pretty psyched about it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, really cool. Yeah. So uh, there you go. Also, and I know I said finally, we have signed up for our very first in-person races since the uh, COVID uh, started up. Uh, we're going to run a, a boo run uh, uh, in October. And we've signed up for our hometown's uh, first ever half marathon. Uh, a little nervous about it because it's our, our very first in-person uh, races. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll update you on those. And we know that some of you are getting ready for uh, some uh, in-person races. Uh, and I think they're pretty long, too. At least uh, one or two half marathons. So let us know how uh, those are going. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you and, uh, you know, watching your videos. Uh, let us know what your answers were to our, our silly, uh, what Disney uh, thing does this remind you of? And uh, keep the questions coming. We really appreciate it. Again, subscribe, hit like, uh, the notification button, it does something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like this little ringy thing. Oh, does it? I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just always looking, so... You know why? Because it's always an adventure with you. 